Young professionals from across the Lone Star State, a couple from Central Texas, a couple from North Texas, and one from Central Texas, are finalists for the 2010 Excellence in Agriculture Award. The Texas Farm Bureau EIA Award recognizes young men and women who are involved in agriculture, but do not earn their primary income directly from their own farm or ranch enterprises. However, these finalists play a vital role to the success of Texas agriculture. They are the best in their respective fields. This year's EIA finalists are Ryan and Santana Bay of Gatesville, Daryl and Sue Real of Sanger, and Whit Weems of De Leon. Ryan and Santana Bay are owners of Corio Feed and Supply in Gatesville. The couple also runs their own pecan orchard mixed in with a few head of cattle. Daryl Real is the Vice President of the Agriculture and Livestock Department at the State Fair of Texas, along with increasing public agriculture awareness with the help of his wife Sue. Whit Weems is a Texas Agriculture Extension Service Agent for Comanche County, where he assists producers and 4-H'ers in a very diverse agricultural county. The goal of owning your own business is a dream for many and one that came true for Ryan and Santana Bay almost immediately after graduating college. The 20-somethings are owners of Corio Feed and Supply in Gatesville, where they service and sell products to those with a wide-ranging green thumb for agriculture. It's fun, but it's, uh, it's challenging. Uh, I guess our biggest obstacle is, is being young. It's hard to tell people that, that have been doing something for 50 years and their dad did it that same way to, to try something new. But we're, we're learning every year and I think we're definitely getting better at it. Ryan doesn't come from an ag background, but his wife Santana does, working with her father on the family farm in Shiner. Every afternoon, every evening, every weekend, every summer was spent um, either in the field or in the cow pens or doing just about everything from shoveling the poop or running the hay baler, uh, cutting hay, running the auger cart. Uh, so I was back and forth doing just about everything. Since taking over the feed store, Santana has brought the business into the computer age, putting an end to paperwork and hand tickets. As if the store wasn't enough responsibility, two and a half years ago, the couple purchased a 30-acre pecan orchard, along with a few head of cattle. They hadn't done much out there, and, and the trees were kind of overgrown, hanging on the ground and stuff like that, so it, uh, it took a while to get it to where it is today, but I think, uh, and we're still working at it. There's a a lot to do, but uh, we're having fun doing it and, and learning a lot from it. Both Ryan and Santana serve on the Corio County Farm Bureau Board. Back at the store, the couple finds it rewarding that every aspect of their business they have gotten to be hands-on with has seen growth. Plans are in the works to expand the showroom floor, nursery, and even add grain storage. While working day in and day out with your spouse can prove to be challenging for this ambitious couple, they wouldn't have it any other way. If I wanted to see somebody after five and on the weekends, I would have not gotten married. I just, for me, that lifestyle would not have fit. I would have just stayed single and I would have just had a whole bunch of dogs. The State Fair of Texas is only visible to the average person for about a month each fall, but for Daryl Real, it's a year-long, behind-the-scenes job. A 10-year veteran of the show ring through 4-H and FFA, Daryl has turned a lifelong passion into a profession. For the past six years, he has served as Vice President of the Agriculture and Livestock Department at the State Fair. Today, Daryl is responsible for over 8,000 youth and livestock exhibitors each fall. The livestock show side is something that's just inherent to most livestock people. We can take care of animals very well, that's what we do in the livestock business. But taking care of people is something that we've got to be training on and dealing with all the time. Growing up on a hog farm near San Antonio, like most farm kids, Daryl's first boss was his dad. After graduating from Texas A&M and Kansas State, he went to work for the National Swine Registry. In search of an opportunity to spend more nights closer to home, the state fair came calling. And whenever you get passionate about something, Daryl says it's hard not to bring your family along for the ride. As a family organization, the fair is all about family fun. They've allowed me to bring in my wife and they love to see my kids and, and to make this a, a great place and put our name on it uh, and be proud of it. 
That family atmosphere is where Sioux Real comes in. With over 3 million visitors, the State Fair is more than just a livestock show. The Reals have found it to be a unique opportunity to showcase agriculture to the general public. A former school teacher and administrator, Sue did not grow up in agriculture. She married into it. Working behind the scenes with Daryl, she has been instrumental in helping set up many of the fair's new educational exhibits, playing host to the young and old alike, whose upbringing is much like her own. I know what the general consumer needs to know, and I get to bring that perspective in, so um, showing them where our money goes to and how a cow is fed and how it's really handled and taken care of, those kind of things. I, I enjoy getting to share that with them. In addition to his day job, Darrell serves on the Denton County Farm Bureau Board. Since his arrival, the fair has grown not only in terms of exhibitors, but also events and educational opportunities. There are groups out there that would have us go away. HSUS and PETA and other groups, they would love to put us out of business. But what I think the public that buys that piece of it and sends them money doesn't understand is that without agriculture, we have no food, we have no shelter, we have no resources. In his role as a Texas AgriLife Extension agent in Comanche County, Whit Weems is constantly on the move. The county is in the middle of dairy country, but a quick trip around the area will reveal a place rich in a number of diverse agriculture commodities. The fast-paced environment provides both a challenge and enjoyment. I've been able to learn about pecans and uh, watermelons and peanuts and the dairy industry and then most recently this year we added cotton to the list of commodities that are grown here in the county and have had some, some guys that have really been successful with cotton crop this year. Hard work and dedication is what drives the Central Texan. He grew up off the farm, down the road in Dublin, but was active in 4-H and FFA throughout his childhood years. After college, Witt started out as an extension agent in Falls County before moving to Hamilton and eventually hanging his hat in Comanche. For Weems, the future of agriculture looks bright. When he is not assisting producers, he is leading research projects and production trials to increase options for local farmers, while also working with local youth with their 4-H projects. I think one of the greatest things about working for Extension is just the opportunity to uh, help people, to make a difference in people's lives and careers, continuing education for them, providing things that will help them financially, providing uh, research that will help them take new and innovative ideas to the next level uh, on their farms and help be more profitable for them. In his spare time, Witt also serves on the Comanche County Farm Bureau Board, as well as leading many of the county's youth ag education programs in dual capacities as both a local county agent and Farm Bureau leader. He and his wife also manage a flock of sheep in which they raise show lambs. Education never stops for this county agent on the go. He graduated from Tarleton with a master's in agriculture education, but that wasn't enough. He is currently seeking a doctorate in the same field in a joint program through Texas A&M and Texas Tech. The more I can learn, the more successful I hope that I can be. Um, the doctorate degree was something that I always wanted to do. I had a professor in college that said, um, the one thing you can never take away from a man is everything that he's been able to learn. And since then, that's just something I always wanted to accomplish. Mm -hmm.